Hey guys, how's it going? Go see Richard today. And today I was working on a Nordic Track CS2200 treadmill. Figured I'd give you some really cool information on this one. It was, it's kind of the after fact because I wasn't really planning on posting this, but I was like, hey, this would be kind of informational for those having treadmill problems. So let's say you have your screen up here, which I'll go to in a second, and you go to click, try and click the buttons, and it's just bouncing back between two pieces, and it's not because you're pressing the buttons, it's just not responding, or maybe only one side of it's responding. So you're probably thinking, well, maybe the motor shot, maybe this is shot. There's a bunch of things, a bunch of videos on checking your motor, but usually what'll happen is you'll hit up here, and if it shows that the speed is going, but it's actually not going anywhere, that's a motor issue or a motor, motor controller issue, which is down there. But if you're hitting buttons and nothing's responding, that usually means maybe moisture got in up here. Maybe it's your sweat. Maybe you dropped a coffee. Maybe someone was banging on the buttons. But I want to show you what you're looking for when you go to clean this. So first thing I, I did, it's going to be a little bit more troublesome to show you. But if you look really close, see how all these joints are nice and shiny? Look for any black goo or anything like that. Because if you start seeing that... That is actually condensation and uh, corrosion from it getting moist um, down below. But as you can see, our, this controller looked perfectly fine. So I went over it with a fine tooth comb and a, what I call the toothbrush and some contact cleaner. And I just went over it really lightly. But really, these were not the issue. This, The motor controller wasn't getting sent anything. And how I could tell is because the head unit wasn't saying any speed or anything. So we'll, I basically said, you know what, let's leave this alone. And we ended up going up here to this. I checked the ground and I checked our pins up here. These all look good. No, no wires were loose up here. So I went back over to this piece, which is the biggest issue of them all. Uh, flipped it over. And in here, it's still gonna show a little bit. I'm gonna get nice and close and hope it focuses. See how they're still a little bit dirty? Well, that's fine. I still went in there with the, the toothbrush and some contact cleaner, scrubbed it and cleaned out the laneways with a small little, almost like a toothpick. And then what you can do is you can actually just clean them. Now, look at how dirty that one is. I'm gonna still give that a scrub. Anyways, you're looking for that. You're gonna shoot some contact clean in there, use a toothbrush, clean all that up. After I did that, I still hooked it up and it wasn't working. It's like, man, what's going on here? So. I ended up peeling the buttons off and I took a look and see how clean this one looks. This one was fine. So what I did is I left this ribbon connector plugged in. And by the way, you can release these ribbon connectors like that. Don't be scared. Take a look at them. Make sure they're clean. You slide them back in there. Make sure they're fully seated all the way. Just like that. And then you can recrimp it down. Ta-da. Whatever. I disconnected this one side because the buttons didn't look right. And I'll show you that in a sec. And as soon as I plugged it in, I could now control the treadmill with this side, which showed me that this side of its buttons were shorting out. Let me show you how I could tell. Again, all I did is I peeled those plastic pieces off. Look at how messed up this was. So just from sweating or water bottle or something, moisture got up and in here. So what I did, separated it, used a cloth, and I pulled out a lot of moisture from between these buttons. I'm going to go pick this up. Oh yeah, and I resealed it with a heat gun and it pulled out any last little bit of moisture. It looks like the contact lines right here. I'm just gonna clean this contact line. See how it looks like it was shorting before? I just wanna make sure that those contact lines are nice and clean and you should have straight parallel lines without it actually making contact with multiple buttons. Before there was literally water bubbles in here. So we got all that out. I'm gonna go stick this back in, stick in the ribbon cable, and we'll see if our treadmill's working again. So again, how you'll be able to tell is if, let's say it says zeros on everything and when you hit the buttons, it's not going anywhere. And if you're hitting the incline, it's not increasing the incline. That's a good indication that your actual treadmill buttons are the culprit. If yours, the motor works on one side and the incline's not working on the other, then maybe your incline motor's gone. So that's when you would go after that. But if all your buttons aren't working, chances are that board is catching a short. And so it's going into almost like a safe mode and just basically, it's just gonna read a dead short and save itself rather than try and communicate. 
to get into here, you're gonna have to disconnect, like I showed you, that red clip right here. There's a ground strap. How you get at it, those two screws, this slides off, and you'll find the ground screw there. And then take this one out, take this one out, take the screws up there, and take this out so you can pop that and move it out of the way. And again, there's two right here. And we might have some border screws, but yeah. Like I said, those are your four majors right there. All I did is reconnected this, put our ground back on, started it up. These are our pulse. If we put our, this is another way, by the way, I was able to tell it was just the buttons. I'd squeeze this and my pulse would actually pop up on there while it would attempt to read my pulse. Or as when I was trying to do the, the other stuff, like hit buttons, it wouldn't even respond. But now if I hit this, you can hear it's actually working. And now if we look down, treadmill's going. Before, none of these buttons would work. Now if I hit this, we're gonna start going to an incline. And again, it might, I'd have to take a look at all the buttons, but I can feel everything moving. So I know all those motors are working. It says we're in a warm up. And then if I hit this, it stops. I pull this off. That goes, that's the fan. That fan ball bearing sounds like it needs some help. Anyways, so we'll just do that again. See, this is what it was showing before. See how it what, it's just reading zero, 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 zero? You would hit buttons and nothing would pop up. Now if I hit it, boom, we've got it responding. So again, if you start seeing this, you can still see it compared to this keypad when they're side by side. This was literally full of moisture. So I was able to first separate this and peel it off of here and then separate the two layers with a fingernail. You can heat it up so that that way it uh, releases the adhesive and then you can separate the two. After you separate the two, pat it with a paper towel. I would highly suggest you just pat it because if you rub with a paper towel, what can end up happening is paper towels known to break down. You'll get little bits of paper towel in there. So blow it off with the blow dryer so that way it blows all the little bits off and then heat it up and reseal it and then go a little bit longer over top of it. And what it'll do is not only will it really reseal it with the adhesive, if there's any moisture left, it's gonna seal it up. And then you stick it back on. If you heat it up again, the adhesive will actually re-stick to here. Slide your ribbon cable through and just like I just showed you in that last portion, put it back on. Make sure that if you find moisture in here, chances are there's moisture that's gotten through here and onto the control board. So go through and just give that control board a quick scrub with a toothbrush and just look for any black goo on, that, uh, on the laneways. And if you see it, scrub it off. But there you go, that's how you know. And again, if this is reading out, see how I'm reading stuff and it's saying I'm burning calories and we're going, but that motor's not going, then that's how you know when your motor control board is having issues or the motor itself. And if you're having problems like that, take a look at one that's having those issues. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Please like if it helped you out and subscribe for more.